We know when to run a power, when to turn on a power plant. Uh, we know when plants are likely to make a profit for us. And we have a rule for when we should think about increasing the output of a power plant that's already running. And those are the tools we need in order to think about which plants from our existing portfolio we should run at a given point in time. So let's suppose we need to bring some additional capacity online for the next hour. Demand is high. We need to add to our current generation from our existing portfolio. Um, for this example, uh, we have our three plants, baseload, peaker, and solar. Each of them have 100 megawatts available. And we have demand reduction available as well. So the question is, if we need to expand our current generating uh, generation, uh, we have 100 megawatts available from solar, 100 megawatts available from our baseload plant, from our peaker, and from a demand reduction. So which plant should we use? And um, so one thing we might do is we might go back and ask, well, um, what would be the long-term contract price for each of these sources? And the long-term contract price for each of these sources is the levelized cost of energy. And so let's move ahead and look at our levelized cost of energy. Here is a picture of the levelized cost of energy. I've put base. I've, I've ordered these plants in terms of the levelized cost of energy. So base load is first, then solar, then peaker, and then demand reduction. So if we were to allocate these plants in terms of the levelized cost of energy or the long run contract price for a 30 year PPA for this power plant, power purchase agreement for this power plant, then uh, the base load has the lowest levelized cost of energy. Solar has the next levelized cost, peaker the next, and demand reduction the next. So let's come back to the question about which plant we would run. We need an additional 100 megawatts. So uh, suppose you own these three power plants. You own the solar, the base load, the peaker, and you have some demand reduction contracts available to you. And we need an additional 100 megawatt hours. Now, we're going to abstract from the ramp rate of these plants. We're going to assume that the coal plant can give us the 100 additional megawatt hours. The peaker plant can. The solar plant can. Um, so which of these plants would you run to make you the most money? To answer this question, we need to look at the supply stack. So. What I've done is I've gone back and I've listed my four sources and uh, I've uh, reordered them again. So solar is first. It has a higher levelized cost of energy than base load. Then comes peaker and then comes demand reduction. But I've ordered them in terms of their marginal cost of uh, the 100 megawatt hours, the marginal cost for each of the 100 megawatt hours. So which of these plants, um, which of these plants are going to make us the most money? What is the cost of an incremental supply? So for a given price, for a given price, which of these plants is going to make us more money? To think about that, let's go through the cost to you of incremental supply. What does it cost you to produce an extra 100 megawatt hours with your solar plant. Well, uh, if we go back here, look at the marginal cost for solar, we see that's zero. So I can produce 100 megawatt hours of solar 
for zero cost. Okay, so we've got zero dollars as a cost for solar. How much does it cost to produce 100 megawatt, uh, 100 megawatt hours of base load? Well, we go back and we look at our marginal cost for base load. And our marginal cost for our base load plant is twenty two fifty. So let's go back. What is the cost of a hundred megawatt hours of base load? It's twenty two fifty times a hundred megawatts, or two thousand two hundred fifty dollars. All right, let's move on to peaker. What would it cost to produce the hundred megawatt hours with our peaker? Well, that's 3750 times 100, so that's $3,750. How about demand reduction? That's going to be $80 times 100 megawatts, megawatt hours, and that's going to be $8,000. So what if you had used, here you can see that solar was the cheapest, uh, the cheapest to produce and it's going to make you, for a given price, it's going to make you the most money. What if you had used the levelized cost of energy as your guide? Well, you would have chosen to run base load, then solar, then peaker, then demand reduction. So if you had generated the extra 100 megawatt hours in order of levelized cost of energy, you would have used the base load power plant, you would have spent 3,000, I'm sorry, not 3000 that's the peaker, $2,250 to generate 100 megawatts of power when you could have generated it for nothing. So if these were your four plants, would you rather spend $2,250 to produce your 100 megawatts or zero to produce your 100 megawatts? Obviously, you would prefer to use the zero cost resource to produce your 100 megawatts. Remember, this is your choice. These are your plants, and you're trying to decide how to maximize the, your own value from the portfolio of plants that you own. If you do that, you are going to use the lowest cost marginal resource first.